<clears throat> Hello, welcome. This is Lily Reads It. And this message is going to be for Scorpio. As promised, Scorpio, you did win the financial reading as well as Pisces. It was kind of like a tie. So I'm going to do a single read for both of you guys. So thank you for commenting and everything below. If you are watching this reading on YouTube, I'm sorry, on TikTok or Instagram, please go ahead and just head to YouTube for the full video. Um, I'm going to do a love reading for the person on your minds. Okay, I'm just going to freestyle. I don't know what I'm going to ask yet. We're just going to go with the flow and get started. Okay, to book a private reading with me, you can click the link in the bio or the description box on YouTube. And let's get started. Please don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below. Okay, it does help me as a channel okay and let's get started first i'm just gonna pull some messages from your person of what your person may want to say to you scorpio especially if you're not in communication with them okay please check your sun moon rising if this does not resonate with you all right let's see person on scorpio's mind what do they want to say to my scorpio we're gonna do 10 cards out of here okay so the month of may could be very significant for you and this person we both know I am not the one for you. I wish I would have treated you better. I can't sleep, can you? So they definitely are thinking about you at night. Probably can't sleep. We need to talk. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you, Scorpio. Earth is here, so you could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. If not, your person just needs to be like a lot more grounded and stable. I can't give you what you need right now. I feel you even though we are apart. So they definitely feel your energy. We want different things right now. I'm afraid of rejection. So they could want to reach out. But they're afraid you may reject them. We need this time apart. Deception and cheating. So this person could have lied, cheated, or both. I think about you every day within the next three months. So there will be like a shift in this relationship for you guys in the next three months. Whether that's like reconciling or just a complete separation here okay like where you just like in the next three months just move forward let me pull just a few out of this deck and then we're going to actually get started into the tarot what does personal scorpio's mind want to say focus on money i'm currently focusing on my career and finances my main priority is my financial stability father wounds my father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult I have challenges with connecting to divine masculine energy within me and externally. The future. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. Wild side. There's a side to you I haven't seen and I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. And attention of others. I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed. I don't feel whole without it. At the bottom of the deck, we have, will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? Missing you. I miss you and I wish things were different. And we have run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Sound like this person is definitely missing you, Scorpio. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pull some random messages. Okay. This is a new deck. We're going to try it out. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Okay. This deck is a little bit toxic, <laughs> but some of this may resonate. So take what resonates with you. Okay. There could be a message in here for you. If not, leave it for somebody else that's going to resonate with. If you made it this far, please hit that like button for me, Scorpio. Please, please, please. Okay. Let's see. Five messages, please, for Scorpio and their person. What Scorpio needs to know. Okay, so we have unbothered. So someone here is definitely in this like unbothered energy. This could be you, Scorpio, or maybe this is your person or both. Okay, we have, here we go, Chile. Okay, so someone is definitely spying. Okay, so there's a spying energy. <laughs> Disappointment, no effort to go out and have fun. Okay, so I feel like someone here, you or this person could be like disappointed um the disappointment could be well this is crazy because one is unbothered the other is disappointed so someone here is disappointed they don't even want to go out they don't want to enjoy themselves they're just kind of like you know just kind of in this stuck energy two more please for scorpio and their person yeah so we have surveillance here so there's definitely some spying going on okay that's twice you guys i feel like because the spying came out twice I feel like you guys are spying on each other. This person's spying on you. You're spying on them. 
And responding doesn't always have to mean looking at my page, looking at your social media. It can literally mean they could be so much into your energy um, that it feels like, you know, they're spying on you. They're heavily in your energy. Um, this can mean they could be asking other people about you. Like, hey, how is so-and-so doing? Have you heard from so-and-so? Um, that is fine. Okay. We have happily married here. So um, this could be a few things. Either you are married to this person or you saw yourself possibly being married or maybe you're dealing with someone that is married. Okay, let me pull one more. But you could have saw this person as like a potential partner for marriage or they could you could be dealing with someone that is married. Okay. Bae, I love the how you cater to my needs. So someone is definitely, I feel like, missing like quality time with you, Scorpio. Right, they miss the way that you cater to their needs, and we have self love looks good on me. So yeah, someone's focused a little bit more on self love, taking care of themselves, right? Um, other than focusing on this relationship at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, it's okay. So someone here too might be finding out that they're pregnant, possibly choosing not to keep the baby because I am seeing my body, my choice here. Um, that's only probably gonna resonate for a few, but I am seeing that too. You could have like unexpected pregnancy. Okay. All right, and let's get into some tarot. All right, very nice ancestors. Let's see for Scorpio. I want to ask how this person is currently feeling about you and the situation. Okay, very nice ancestors. How is the person on Scorpio's mind currently feeling about the situation between Scorpio and them at this current time and moment? How are they currently feeling? How are they feeling towards Scorpio, the person on their mind right now? How are they feeling about the situation between them and Scorpio? So someone here is definitely feeling like left out in the cold with this five of pentacles here. Okay, maybe you could have blocked this person. They could have blocked you because I am feeling like there is some type of blocking energy here. We have the page of swords. So definitely someone is in the stalker energy. I feel like they're trying to figure out what's the next move. What are you going to do if they should make a move here? That's what I'm getting from that. Two more, please. Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be or an Earth sign. King of Swords. Definitely a soulmate energy here. Whoever this person is, they definitely have not let this go. I feel like they are definitely strongly thinking about this heavily. But they are also holding back. Like they're really like guarded. Really trying to stand on business here, Scorpio, but I don't feel like they can too much longer. Let's let's start clarifying. I want to clarify this five of pentacles here because I want to see if they're going to come out of this energy of like no communication, withholding, you know, from the connection here. Let's see. Spirit, please clarify this five of pentacles for Scorpio and their person. Please clarify the five of pentacles. Please clarify too many but let me see hold on okay so we have the three of pentacles which is this energy of wanting to work on things rebuilt right two more for the five of pentacles please we have the four of wands and the eight of cups in reverse so yeah they want to come out of this energy from walking away from you and reconnect they definitely want like a reunion to work and build on this connection they don't want to stay in this energy of not communicating with you anymore they don't Okay, let's see what this page of cups is because I feel like this is like a slight offer or gesture. You might get some type of communication from this person. We are in retrograde. So why is this page of cups here? Two for the page of cups. Two for the page of cups. We have the eight of wands. Yeah, so definitely this person is getting ready to communicate with you. There is going to be some type of communication, some type of uh, message. Okay. The five of wands. So be mindful of this person trying to start an argument with you. Um, because I am seeing that this communication could be kind of combative. Like, you know, well, you did, you did try to stay out of that energy, especially during this retrograde. You know, if you're not gonna come with me, come correct with proper communication, like the king of swords, right? Thinking more logically than emotionally, then we don't need to talk. Okay, let's see what this page of swords is. I feel like that's that stalker energy, but I just want to confirm. What is this page of swords, please? Two for the page of swords. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Someone is like watching you because that hermit is here as well. So it's like, yeah, stalking, but quiet, right? Withdrawn. Um, the seven of swords, like trying to move on, but can't. So seven of swords, as we know, can always be like that sneaky card. 
But here, this person is literally trying to move on. You see how they're walking forward, but they're looking back? It's like you're trying to move on, but you can't because you keep looking back out at the situation, right? You keep thinking about the what if. Like, hmm, should I go back to this? Am I going the right way, right? So this person has definitely been heavily thinking about this opportunity and what they should do. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So definitely that soulmate energy here. I just want to clarify this too for the King of Queen of Pentacles, please. The Magician. The Fool card. Ooh, someone's been manifesting a brand new start with you, Scorpio. And the Eight of Swords. Whether they realize it or not, Okay, this could be you too. You could be manifesting a new start with your person. But I definitely feel like someone here has been manifesting, maybe thinking about this so heavily. Okay, that is getting ready to manifest. They are manifesting you in. Let's see what this four of pentacles is. Two for the four of pence for my Scorpios. Yeah, the ace of cups. They haven't let this go. The four of pentacles is showing me like wanting to kind of build a solid foundation. This person has not let this go or release this. Queen of cups. Yeah, they're definitely still deeply in their feelings about this. They're deeply in their feelings about this, wanting to offer you this cup of love. Spirit, is this going to be a sincere offer from their person? Is this going to be sincere? Is this a sincere offer? The chariot, positive movement forward. Could be dealing with a cancer energy here. Page of swords and the three of swords. Clarify this three of swords for me. Yeah, the world card in reverse and the king of pentacles. Yeah. Um, I feel like this person too knows that they hurt you, they broke your heart, or they did something wrong. Yeah, the lovers. Um, and that's why they've been kind of like delayed on the communication because I feel like they're really trying to figure out what they're gonna say, how they're gonna come towards you, um, to get you to kind of like, okay, you know, this person's really, yeah, they've been thinking about this a lot. Whatever happened between you guys too, they know they kind of did wrong with the tower here. They know they did wrong, whether they admit that or not. I do feel like this person is going to come towards you a lot more stable with a stable offer. But also, you know, hold this person accountable. Otherwise, it's going to go back to a repeated cycle. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let me ask Spirit's advice and then I think we're going to end it there. That was a good reading, Scorpio. That was a good reading. Please let me know in the comments if that resonated with you, okay? Comments on the channel helps a lot, okay? These readings are free. Please help me keep the motion on the channel, okay? In order for me to want to do these, I have to see that people are actually watching them. So let's see, Scorpio. What is your advice, Spirit Guides and Ancestors to Scorpio, when it comes to the person on their mind? What is your advice? Ten of Swords, a Five of Cups, and an Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Let me clarify, but I feel like Spirit's saying, like, there is a brand new opportunity coming in, even though there was an ending here. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. So Ten of Swords here, I, I do feel like this person could have hurt you, and that's why I said hold them accountable, right? You're still in this energy of, like, focusing on the spilt milk, but not seeing the two cups, the 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 two cups behind this person that are still standing right another opportunity to three of pentacles work on this eight of pentacles work on this working towards something to actually build something but let me clarify i want to clarify this eight of pence like are they saying to work on this let's see two for the eight of pence please for my scorpios five of cups so you're still in this five of cups energy and the temperance yeah um give it time right patience time but uh, again what i was saying allow this person to prove to you this person's coming back six of cups king of wands could be dealing with a fire sign i have sagittarius here very strongly for some of you guys this is like a karmic so there could be like a lesson that needs to be learned more than anything so be mindful of that as well yeah overall energy The Tower and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a brand new unexpected beginning here. Be prepared. Be prepared. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let me know if you like this reading. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.